Hi guys, today I'm back with another video and today we are doing another um, minifigure review and today we are doing R2D2 from 1999. Um, what I'm doing is I've already done Luke Skywalker from, well it's kind of a 1999-2014 one because he came in the DK Lego Star Wars Visual Dictionary. But what I'm going to do from now on is I'm going to do the old figures and work my way up by year so um, what I'm doing is a 1999. Right now, so but uh, yeah. So as you can see, them. This is the R two D two that never really had any head printing. They didn't do it quite right, although it was pretty good for the uh, time. The R two D two, sorry, the R two D two body design has always been the same. But in my opinion, this is probably the, my favourite R out of all the R two D twos. So um, yeah. Technically, well, I'll, other things we're going to discuss in this episode is, is, um, so, sorry, I'm going to ask you, is that, um, the sets the minifigure came in and the price of the set and his availability now, since it's 2015. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a quick overview of the figure again. I don't know why, but none of the RTDs have ever any apparently like a couple of maybe rectangles and things he tools he could have on his back or something. Got the wee um, hologram eye of no it's on the hologram eye is here. Pretty basic printing as usual for the R2D2. Back from that time. What I'm gonna do in my next video, there could be three videos today, I'm not sure, will be the 1999 Darth Vader, or is it 2000, I'm not sure. I will have to check um, on the internet or on one of the Lego books, see where here he is from. And there will also be a, a quick um, video on the new R2D2. Um, so, uh, yeah. Also, before I go into this video or any further, I'd like to say that um, my YouTube channel has officially been running for an entire year, and I am at 65 subscribers, so subscribe, drop a like, drop, drop a like, and so uh, yeah. So, what I've done is I've come up with this Lego measuring device, and um, so it measures the figure. It's not complete, so he R2D2 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. He has 5 studs high. I've already done one of these videos today, but I did not do the measuring thing. I repeat, did not do the measuring thing. So, uh, yeah, let's talk about the sets he came in. The sets he, the first set he came in, I believe, was Luke Skywalker's X Wing Starfighter. The, which came out in 1999 and um, the cheapest you can get it now is probably um, £45 on um, eBay the next one say I believe he came in was the 2000 Millennium Falcon which goes for over £100 yeah again these sets seem to tend to be quite expensive but I'd say you could get him for maybe £15, £10 on eBay so, um, yeah, and another set I think he came in was the, sorry, was the 2006, um, X, Goat Skywalker's X-Wing from episode 5, and I also know that he was in the Lego Star Wars Twilight set from the Clone Wars TV series. I got this figure off eBay, I did not get him in any sets. Um... But hopefully I um, can get the whole R2D to collect. I've got this one and the most up to date one. The one I'm trying to get at the moment is the Clone Wars R2D2. Sorry, you may hear some background noises, but. Um, so, um, yeah, this um, figure is highly detailed for the time of his release and. Wasn't a full of sets. If I missed any sets, I'd be sure to let me know in the comment section and. So, uh, yeah. um, what we're going to quickly do is I'm going to show you the uh, stud thing from. Simple 
studs. You know, I'm hoping they release a version of him with the sorry with the third leg. There is the tutorials out there on YouTube on how to add a third leg. Although really, I don't think it's a good idea to add the third leg. I prefer the mini figure without the third leg. Although um, if Lego were to do a version of it, I'd um, definitely try and get a hold of that and shove it on this channel. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, I'm going to give you a, a five-star rating for the time of his release. I'd, um, and the detail for his time of release, I would give a five. The accuracy to detail, I would give a 4. And for the good amount of sets he came in, I'm going to have to give it a 10 out of 10. So this minifigure gets itself 19 points. Definitely worth buying. So, um, yeah. This is episode 2 of Minifigure Reviews. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And drop a like. Bye.